Okay, so feel the feelings. Um, oops. So essentially the exercise is just to sit. Uh, it's often preferable to sit in a chair with a straight back. Um, and all one is doing is just allowing any energies or any sensations or any vibrations just to be uh, allowed to release gently in consciousness. So it's on the thing that many are in a state of suppression or repression. So there can be tightness in the muscles. There can also be mental mechanisms or unconscious mechanisms which, which are just trying to push down feelings, sensations, vibrations. So what we're trying to do is just let go of any control mechanisms or, or any, any kind of suppression that's going on in the current moment and just let everything that's trapped, hidden, repressed, suppressed come into consciousness and reverse any mechanisms that may be there. Also re recognizing when we're just allowing all things to be and to arise, uh, we're also simultaneously uh, allowing the practice of not labeling phenomena as they arise in consciousness. So, for example, if there was tightness or any kinds of sensations in the stomach or body, as they're arising, if a thought comes to label the phenomena that's arising in consciousness, just let that thought go. So you'll realize when a thought emerges in consciousness, it wants to form into a sentence or wants to create a label or a story onto the phenomena that's occurring now. So just gently let that thought go, let the identification go and just allow what is to be. Um, if there's any tightness, any sensations, any, if there's a tight stomach or if there's a headache, if there's any awareness of any energies, just let them be almost as if, not verbally, almost as if one is allowing anything that's trapped or repressed to arise. Uh, and then it, as soon as anything's arising, if there's any emergence of thought, just release it and just be with the energy. So you're just allowing the isness to be experienced and you're allowing the mechanisms of the ego, which is just to repress or suppress or keep things trapped to be uh, released. You also develop, no person is doing this because you're not allowing thoughts. Remember, as a thought is identified with, it creates the story of a separate I that exists in this moment. So if you don't allow the touching of thought, then you're not really allowing the I thought to form. So it doesn't become dualistic, that there's a me that has to do the exercise. So if you don't touch thought, there is no me. Is just allowing of anything, any repressed energies or sensations just to be released without any labeling and any identification with thought. As soon as there's identification with thought, it can create the dualistic idea that there's a me doing the exercise. So as you do that, as soon as a thought emerges, even if it emerges into a story like, oh, am I doing it correctly? Remember, that's a whole sentence that's arisen in consciousness. So just let it go and just be back and just allow anything to release. If there's any kind of mechanism in the background, subtle awareness of an unconscious eye trying to monitor the situation or try to control the mechanism, just let that go. So there's no need of a separate, separate eye that's doing this. Just let everything unfold. To think is to resist the now. So, that, you know, you don't need thinking to allow what's coming up. Now, if something is there, like, for example, if there was a, a tight stomach, as you just allow it, don't label it, don't repress it or suppress it, it'll evaporate. Then you may be aware of a more subtle sensation or energy arise and just let that be and let that evaporate. So it's an intuitive process, doesn't require any kind of thinking uh, to do with that process. So we're, what we're going to do now is be in silence for about uh, five or ten minutes and just let everything arise uh, and pass.